cut it now. Cut it now. Cut it now. He cultura, he cultura, he cultura, he cultura. He cultura, he cultura, he cultura, he cultura. He cultura, he cultura, he cultura. He cultura. However you say it, that's how you say it now and forever. I don't make the rules, I just make the rules. I am Studio Mogro, Studio M O G R A. Hit me up at the PayPal. Hit me up at the Cash App. Buy my book, F Full Moon Nights, available on Amazon, a chronicle of the Miami rave scene in the early 2000s. Buy my second novel, my brand new, just came out, out in October, Hell in Heels, the story of a man saving another man from a group of crazy, ravenous, wild, motorcycle, mayhem, sadistic women who are just there to kick your ass and stomp on your scrotum with their 17 stilettos. Get it on Kindle. Get it on paperback on Amazon. I'm sorry I'm trying to get off Amazon, but, I, you know, there's nothing I can do. You all made Amazon a trillion dollar company. It's your fault. It's not mine. Check out my comic shop, octotaco.com, with my bloggings, my writings, my comicings. Check out my tea Public with all my original t-shirt designs, including the official Hikultura t-shirt. And then check out my Spotify playlist and also my uh, YouTube playlist with all my tracks dating back to 1999 up until last year, I guess. Yeah, two years ago, last year, with my the latest release, The Reflection Blinds You from Seeing the Truth. There we go. We are done. I know. I know. And I know so much that I'm holding the mic because I know. I know. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. Okay? But I have, like, mental health to care about. I have feelings, man. Like, I am a human being. I'm not a machine. You know, it's not about always being on time here for you. No. It's about, you know what? When I feel ready to give you Hikultura, I am going to give you Hikultura. I know I said that I was going to do every single show. And I, I, had, I fully had the intention of doing so. But also, I fully expected that this team was going to be different. I actually did. I thought this this team was going to come out full throttle and be kicking everyone's fucking ass. And we were going to get to talk shit about everybody every single night. And once I realized that, no, this is a terrible, awful team. I, I lost a lot of the motivation to do this because I was like, you know what? I'm I'm wasting time fucking doing Hikultura, especially when they lose. I'm, just, I'm no business doing a Hikultura when they lose because if they're not going to give effort to win against this kind of fucking league, which is like bullshit. I mean, I know they're all professional NBA players, and they're way better than me, and I could never face. I, I get that. We all get that. Push that aside now. Now can we talk at the level that, like, okay, we're talking amongst just the NBA and all the teams. And you look at the teams, and you look at the history of the NBA, and you look at what's going on right now, and you're like, wow. Is it that the Heat are bad, or is it that the NBA is bad? What's happened? It's kind of like the NFL, how the NFL was... Not too long ago, a couple years ago, where there was like, you felt it kind of like in the, in the middle of the transition. It was the transitional period between the era of like Brady and uh, uh, Payne Manning and all that kind of stuff in that era, handing it off to this new era with, you know, Patrick Mahomes and, and, and uh, you know, this guy from Baltimore and... You know, all the other quarter, the, all these quarterbacks that nobody knows their name because they're like, it's a revolving door of quarterbacks. We're like in this era of a, of revolving door quarterbacks. The only two, Lamar Jackson and uh, Josh Allen and uh, this guy, uh, Patrick Mahomes. That's like the new face of the NFL, really? Those guys? I know Patrick Mahomes good and I know Lamar Jackson's good. And yeah, I guess, you know, when, you know, Allen's not turning it over, he's good, but. It's just not the same. It's just like this is weird period right now. We're just like, what is going on? So I don't know. I feel like maybe that's what's wrong with the heat. Maybe it's not the heat. Maybe it's everybody. But let's be real. We've been blaming everybody for five, six freaking years now. So let's stop that. Let's stop that. Let's take some accountability here. 
take responsibility for your actions and what you've done. I, I know I should be happy because this is a great, you know, oh, we won, yeah, we won a tournament thing that nobody gives a shit about. Cool. I know I should be happy, but you know what? I'm keeping it fucking real. You want the stats? You want the, the lie? You want what, what Spo said, what this guy said, and analyze that shit? Well, I go somewhere else. Not here. Here we are calling this team out. Here we are dissecting this team, and here we are putting the light on the, the spotlight on this team after we beat its ass for like two and a half hours with like a stick. That's what we're doing here. This team doesn't need any any thanks. Doesn't need like congratulations. Good job. We don't need none of that shit, man. These guys do not need to be coddled. These guys need to have like fire up their ass the whole year. The threat of just goodbye. You're done. Get the fuck out of here. All year long. Let me tell you something. We're not. Why are you gonna give Butler a, a huge contract? He got hurt again. He found his little excuse so he can fucking miss days early in the season again. I'm not giving Butler a huge contract right now. I'm not giving him. I'll extend this contract, but I'm not going to give him like any any more money than I than what we already owe him. He doesn't deserve a, a huge long term contract. Get the fuck out of here. He's not one of the best guys in the league. Look at LeBron James. That motherfucker's out there every single game, give taking it to people still. And even when Butler's out there, Butler's not doing good. Butler's not giving you know 20, 30, 40 points a game. He's giving twenty points a week. Pulling that bullshit again. We're, we're getting way more out of Tyler Hero. I know we can all agree with that. Finally, can we all agree that like Tyler Hero is actually good now? And all this bullshit that you've been saying since this year one of Tyler Hero that, oh, Tyler Hero sucks, so oh, he's not as good as Booker, he's not as this, he's not a player, he's not an all-star, he's not that, he's not this, he's not somebody that can score 20, blah, blah, blah. Can we just put that to bed now, please? Because Tyler Hero is out there killing it every week, every day, every game. This was the first game that I saw Bam just relentless and just be like, that's it. I don't care anymore. I'm beating everybody. This was the first game. Duncan Robinson continues to be a, a, a pain in everyone's ass. Not, you know, there was a sequence there where it was like, why are you even passing to him? He's too scared. He's scared of shooting the ball. And then he takes this corner shot, falling out, like, you know, with like a guy all draped all over him, hoping he's going to make it. So you take that shot, but you don't take the shot that's like you have like kind of an equal amount, if not a little bit more space, and it's just the guys in front of you. You don't take, I mean, this man does not trust his shot. He does not trust the system. He does not trust himself. Still, year six. It's so obvious. I don't see anybody else in the league playing like him. And I hate it when he makes a shot and it's like, oh, okay, we're, we're good. He made a shot. Fuck that, man. Duncan Robinson needs to be making more than just one shot a game, man. This motherfucker needs to be making like 20 points a game. Like We talked about this already. That's why I don't want to get on right now because I don't see anything different and I don't see anything to cheer about with this team. Let's be real. We beat Indiana. Okay, great. You, you, we beat the Timberwolves. Yeah, well, too bad because the next game you lost to some crappy-ass team in the Detroit Pistons. A team that you already beat, a team that you should always beat, and a, a team that you have no business losing to. You lost at the end because you're stupid. Because you're stupid. Spo's stupid. Spo's stupid because Tyler Hero puts a 40 and he screws it up at the end. That's one. That's like the big glaring thing. But I'm more like, let's rewind that back. Why are we down 20 to this team? Why does Tyler Hero have to come go pull some shit like that? No business being in that position. That's coaching, man. There is something this guy's doing in the middle and the halftime. Again, that we're coming out and we had... A great third quarter against the Pistons. We had a great third quarter. And at the very last two, three minutes of that, of that quarter, we, we reverted back to eating crap. And that's ultimately what killed us. Yeah, Hero had to save us. But then Spo killed us. How many more does he have in his... In, how many more passes does he have? A man cannot have unlimited passes. See, that's why I, I, I really didn't want, I'm not, I feel like I'm not ready to come back to Hikul Duda because it's just yelling right now. It's just yelling and it's just, you know, it's anger, it's frustration. It's not like, oh, I should be celebrating that they won today. This is a good win. 
But to me, it's an empty, meaningless win because they still haven't been anybody. The Timberwolves win was supposed to be like, okay, a turning point. You know? It's a bit... Let me tell you something. Let me tell you... Sit the fuck down. Let me tell you something. Three wins in a row is a big fucking difference from being, you know, winning one game, losing the next, and then winning the next one. It's a big difference. Sure, we won two out of three games. And you would think, oh, that's fine. But it's not, that's not what, no. Because this, let me tell you, this this Indiana team is not, is, I mean, they're playing as bad as we are. They're, they're another one of these Knicks mirror image teams that, to be honest with you, are a little bit better than us right now. Because we're a team that we are more talented than them. We have more, we have more talent. We have a lot better, better players than, than Indiana. But I'm willing to bet that Indiana wins it in a seven-game series because, you know, for some bullshit. Just because. You know, because like the Heat have that right now. They have this thing where it's like they just outthink themselves. And instead of going out there and just killing it, like how Bam can do. Bam can do this. What he did tonight, he can do that against anybody in the league. Anybody. E- even Boston. Especially Boston. He can do that shit. But... You know, Spoh tries to get cute sometimes, and Spoh doesn't act sometimes. Spoh's too late on some shit, doesn't call a timeout, doesn't review, doesn't do this. And then that shit bleeds out and kills everybody. I'm going to keep railing on Spo until this. I see this team do a significant change. Like, we got we, we need a 15-game winning streak right now to, for me to, like, really fucking believe that Spoh's any good. Because what's the difference between him and any other coach in the league? What's the difference? Because he went to a finals? Man, I don't give a fuck if he went to the finals a couple, two years ago, three years ago, whatever the fuck it was. You don't even remember anymore. It doesn't matter because they lost. That shit doesn't count. It's useless to me. It's useless to anybody. The only person who cares about that spoke is like, yeah, I did it. But we, did, we, we went almost all the way. But me, I don't care about that. No fan cares about that. Media doesn't care about that. Hall of Fame doesn't care about that. Gotta hold these guys to a higher standard, man. This is this is what we're preaching all year long. Hold these guys to a higher standard, man. This is not the kind of team that we should be running into Boston with. This team gets beat and gets beat bad if we face Boston. That's it for sure. It's an empty win. I think we predicted this win in the other, in the other, in the other, uh, in the other Hikultura. We didn't. I know we didn't have the Timberwolves. We thought we were going to lose that. I know we called that as a loss, but they won at the end. But then they we we called the Detroit Pistons a win, and they lost to that game. So that's why it, it just it completely like erases all meaning for that Timberwolves win. And this, to me, I, I attribute this win to, like, you know, the Pacers playing shitty more than the Heat playing good. And the Heat played good. For the most part, I mean, like, let me tell you, Ter- Teddy Rozier is driving me insane. We have better players on this team that we should be playing instead of Terry Rozier. Like, we just have, we have much better players. I mean, there's no reason why any of the other younger guys shouldn't be getting playing time in, uh, instead of Teddy, Terry Rozier. There's no reason. He's the same qual- caliber of player. You know, the beginning of the season, I, I, I was very sh- I was very happy with him because he, was, he wasn't playing really well throughout the season, I mean, throughout the game, but he was consistently finding, having the game-saving three at, in the fourth quarter. Like, he would always have a, a, a timely three in the fourth quarter that was like the answer to a team's comeback, and he would shut down the team. So he did that like in three, three or the four, four, three or four games this season in the beginning, like all of them. It was like great. I thought I was like this is gonna be him, and then he just faded, you know, as of as of recently, you know, like when I I think it was like a shark. Who did we play? We played somebody that he just was like lost. He has the face of somebody that's lost. The last game in Detroit, he had he had that on the bench that he had this face of like I don't know what I'm doing. I don't need that. I really don't need that. I don't want that. Yeah, you know, look at Hawkeyes, look at look at Jovich, look at look at these younger guys, man. 
These guys are, they go out there and they play hard. And I know Terry Rozier has his moment. He goes out there and, he, and I'm not saying that he doesn't play hard all the time, but I'm saying he just kind of is a little spaced out out there. Like he just seems a little kind of, you know, a little drugged out. Not that he's on drugs, but, you know, que está como like, huh? what's going on? He does. He has like this demeanor that is like he just isn't, he's guessing the whole time. It's crazy. Like, eh, what? what's going on? Yeah, okay. Like the guy. Like the guy on the couch. That's the Teddy Rosier right now. That's what it feels like. He's a guy on the couch. Huh? Okay. This team right now is Bam and Hero. And, and at the end, now we got to wait and see what happened with Hero because Hero got hurt at the end. And he hurt his hand. And uh, he hurt his hand in a way that it didn't look good. And at the same time, I think that that was the hand that he, he messed up before. I don't remember. But either way, we got to wait until we hear back that he's okay before we can just be like, okay, we're fine. But there's nothing to gain from this, to take away from this this win. This was just an empty win, man. Another empty win for this team that, like, can't seem to, to like, cons be consistent, can't seem to just put their foot down on people. You know, like, today was a put-their-foot-down game, you know, and they, they put their foot down on... on on the Pacers and, 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 but I have no confidence that, you know, the next game, they're going to do the same thing. And, and, you know, we pay the Pacers again. We pay them on the seven, uh, on the, our next game is against the Pacers in, uh, uh, on Sunday. So, you know, are, are we going to lose that game? Cause I'm, I'm assuming we're going to lose that game. And I, I expect Jimmy Butler to be back for that game. Right. Come on, bro. Like, give us something, man. You know, we got we, we face the 76ers. And the 76ers, pff, who's, what are the 76ers now, bro? They're like, they're not a good team. You know, 76ers are bottom barrel two and nine. You know, like that's a that's a game that we gotta come out there and we gotta stomp them. We gotta stomp them hard, bro. And this is crazy, man, because we're not we're not really like we're just it's just pretty much Cavaliers and Celtics and everybody else. That's what it is. You know, and and we're are we gonna do eighty games of this shit? Of of. Like Cavs and Celtics and everyone else, and you know, in the end, it's just gonna be Cavs and Celtics. Start that shit now. Who gives a fuck? Why are we? We're gonna wait eighty games for this crap. You mean to tell me the Cavaliers are really gonna win like you know, like fifty something games, all of a sudden? <sighs> Look, man, all the teams that we have faced, man, we should have beaten every single loss. Five and six, man, and we should have won every single freaking game we lost, bro. We should have beat the Magic. We should have, uh, uh, we should have beat the Kings. We should have beat the Suns. We should have beat the Nuggets. We should have beat Detroit. Like, what are we doing here, man? I see that shit. I see the thirteen and zero, and I'm like, this bullshit, bro. We should be eleven and zero. Ain't no reason why we shouldn't we should we we shouldn't have that that record. Ain't no reason we shouldn't, bro. This team lacks the killer instinct, man. It lacks the killer drive. It's not a killer. This team is not a killer. This team needs to be a killer, man. This team needs to, like, wake up and just be, you know, just be ravenous, man, and be like, no, we're winning this game from the beginning to the end. Yeah, you're going to have your moments. Like, t today was the closest they've come to that, but... You know they're gonna they gotta come out and they gotta beat the Pacers again on Sunday for me to believe this win. Cause the Pacers weren't weren't even there. The Pacers were not there today. You know that 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 that's all I can attribute because I I can't find myself saying I can't bring myself to say, oh the Heat stomped them today. No, I'm not gonna say that because either the Heat put it together and they put it together in a game that the Pacers played horribly. And the Pacers played horribly. 
and scored 111 points. Like, if we had an off night, if, like, Bam had an off night or here, we would have lost this game. On a night where the Pacers played like crap. That's what I'm talking about. Empty wins, man. And that's where I'm just like, no, you know what? I need to see them beat the Pacers again on Sunday. And I need to be, see them beat their asses like they did today. And then I'll be like, okay, maybe that, maybe we take a step forward. But that Pistons loss really, really put a dent in us because that we shouldn't, we should be on a three game winning streak right now. We should be back to 500 now. We should be more than 500. We should be like really one of the best teams in the league. We should be a legit number three team in the league. But we're not. We're, you know, we're a number three team in the East. You know, we're behind the freaking Magic and the Knicks. Get out of here, bro. That's crap. I don't know. I need more, man. I need more than this. And that's why it makes it so hard, you know, to come out and, and do this, you know, and, and do Hiko Duda and, and put the energy into it and, and give a good show and make it entertaining and make it wild and hopefully you say something cool and whatever, you know, views on TikTok. Like, I want to like to do this, but it's really difficult me for me to do it when the Heat are just obviously bad. Like, and this wasn't this team a couple years ago, man. A couple years ago, this team was obviously good. And it's just like nobody else noticed it, you know. We were just the underdog. We were just the, the underachiever. We were the team that, you know what, we could turn it on. I don't think this team could turn it on. I don't know what this team is right now. And this is the same freaking guys that we've had for the last, like, five years. And I don't know, I don't know what to make of this team. I need to see, like, a really nice win streak from this team. I need to see them beat consistently like really good teams and we're not going to face anybody that we can really take seriously i mean we got to take everybody seriously the we, mavericks but the mavericks i don't i think the mavericks are doing bad too aren't they mavericks are five and seven that's a mirror match dude they're probably better than us you know and you know and then on the 76ers i think we there's a guy we see caleb on the 76ers i think he's there but whatever man that's what happens when you leave. It's really you're talking about. We gotta beat these next these next four teams, man. We gotta beat Pacers. We gotta beat the 76ers. We gotta beat the Mavericks. We gotta beat the Bucks. These are four games that we should win. That we should win, man. I don't wanna. I don't wanna hear. Oh, look, a dog is coming in here. He's like, Ugh. you know what? I don't wanna hear it anymore from that guy, dude. That that team is mediocre. It's not a team that I I really go into it fearing anymore. You know, the Bucks. I don't. I will never fear them. Never. Never. And then, you know, afterwards, you know who you have. You have the Hornets, the Raptors twice, and then the Celtics on December 2nd. Right before you face, do a homestand against the Western Conference and, and, and Cleveland. I mean, like, we've got a major fucking test upcoming. Major fucking test. Major fucking test. And we're, and it would serve us better to just, you know, be rid of ourselves this small group of teams that we're going to face before that big stretch before that big test because we could beat all these guys man we could beat the Mavericks we could beat the Bucks we could, I mean, we could beat these guys but right now it just seems it's going to be like win-loss 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 and that is just really annoying it's really annoying and sorry that's not what I want that's not the product that I, I, I want that's not the product that I want to support that's not the product that I want to care about. I've got things to do. I have so much, so many things to do, bro. I can't be wasting time doing, you know, Hikultura. Honestly, because this is for like one or one, maybe two, three people that come by this thing. This is who I'm doing it for. And I'm just doing it because, you know what? I did it four years in a row. Let's let's keep it going. So to me, really, as long as I get a few Hikulturas in during the season, I'm fine. But I don't want that. I want to be, I want to want to do he could do that. And I haven't wanted to do it because ever since we realized, oh, wow, this is a bad team. This team sucks. And then, and then the Maver the the win against the Timberwolves was like, well, I, I wanted to come back and do a he could do then, but then it was late and something. I was like, all right, I'll do the next. And I never got, I never got around to it. And then we, and then after the, the, the Pistons game, 
when we were about to win that game, I was like, I can't wait to do Hikotura. It's going to bring... And then they lose. And they lose in the way that they lost. Sucked out all the energy, man. I need to see another win from the Pacers. I need to see a win over the 76ers, over the Mavericks, and the Bucks. If they can win, give me give me this like five game winning streak right here, and we're good. And then I'll be like, I'll give you a little bit of leeway. But I don't. I expect to lose against the 76ers because we're stupid. I don't know what to tell you. This is uh. That's all I got, man, because there's not that you can't really make make much of this team and say, oh, these guys are good. It's, it's the same thing we're even repeating every season for the five years, bro. We don't need that anymore. We need to be surprised. We need to see this team go on, a, or on, on winning streaks. We need this team really dominate. And they just don't. And until they do, we're not going to we'll let up. And you can't let up. You can't let up on this team. You can't fall for their bullshit, man. Don't fall for the fucking bullshit. I love Eric Reed and I love these guys, John Crotty, and they're doing a great job. And they know how to make you love this team. And yes, we all love this team. We love it. We support this team to our dying breath. We get it. But just because of that doesn't mean you can't criticize them. It doesn't mean you can't hold them accountable. It doesn't mean you can't put their feet to the fire. We have to do that to this team or else we, we, we just like, you know what? Be, everyone's okay with them losing. And we know you end up, next thing you know, you're the Jets. Do you want to become the fucking Jets of the NBA? No. Then hold this fucking team to a higher standard. Hold this team accountable. Tell us, he Pacers, oh, you won by 124? Who cares a fuck? You should have beat the Pacers by one by 150. should have beat them by 150 this game. Once again, Duncan Robinson, you coming at me with like, you know, we're bullshit three, six points, whatever the hell you had? No. Duncan Robinson needs to average 18 points a game. If he doesn't average that, he's gone, bro. Get rid of his ass. But get rid of his ass. You can find somebody else out there that, that that's better, that will average what he's averaging right now. He's not, he's not good. Okay, he is not fucking good. If he comes out there and just scores fucking you know three points a game and he's a decoy the whole fucking time, fuck that man. Stop it with that shit. It's it's ridiculous at this point. Butler, you want a fucking payout? You really want a payout? Well, get the fucking back on the court, bro. Don't just conveniently be like, oh, well, yeah, I hurt myself. I need three weeks off. Get the fuck out of here, man. You ain't, right now you're not getting paid, bro, because every year we got to deal with some fucking injury shit. And there's no point in paying a guy a long term fucking contract who every year misses literally the first three months of the season. Get out of here. Don't need that shit. I'd rather take his money and give it to Bam. I'd rather take his money and give it to, to Hero. I'd rather give take his money and give it to Waquez. Okay, because right now Waquez has your money. Jovich has your money. These are guys, these guys are the are the team I want. I, I want to build a team around around where? I want to build a team around these guys. I don't wanna I don't care about Butler right now. I know Butler's good. I know he's good. Well then show me. Show me you're good. Show me you practiced some shit on the offseason. Show me you were doing something. He came in and he he had the spin move that he he brought in now and it was he was hitting it and that's it. Never never seen Burnt Brother again. Some even question his very existence. You can't put Butler in the same room as any of the top ten fucking players in the NBA. No. You can name ten players better than Butler. I know you can. I don't want to. I want to put Butler in the top three, top five. But pff, get the fuck out of here, bro. Bam is top five. Bam is one of the top players in the league. Hero is one of the top players. Hero is definitely in the top ten, top fifteen. He's definitely more above them. Butler doesn't give you shit, man. Butler maybe gives you a 20-point game. Then he gives you a consistent, like, you know, three points a game. Six points. Eight points. I don't know what to tell you, man. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't back him until I start seeing him dominate again. And he's got to dominate, bro. He's got to go out there. He takes shots, man, and he's not making shots. He's not making that three anymore. He didn't come. He hasn't come out and he hasn't dominated. He doesn't look like a dominating guy anymore. He just looks like a guy that's just like, eh. He looks like uh, uh, Dion Waiters, man. The end of Dion Waiters' career, just apathetic. Like, eh, I'm tired of this. This is boring. I don't got time for that, man.
Prove me wrong, bro. Because I really love Butler. I like his attitude. He's perfect for Miami, man. But he's only perfect for Miami if he's playing like, like a top three player in the league. Otherwise, get the fuck out of here, bro. Don't got time for this shit, man. There's too many good players out there. There's there's other people that we can find that we can probably put in into the system and uh, and they'll complement uh, Hero and Bam better. Because in the end, when it's Butler out there, it's Butler and, and nobody else. You know? Butler isn't a threat from the three. Butler's just got the turnaround jumper and turnaround around in the mid shot and, and then he just gets fouls. But then... What happens when he's not getting fouls, man? He's useless to us. When Butler's going in there and he's not getting called fouls, and it feels like they're not calling any fouls as much as they've used to. I could be wrong, but that's how Butler wins games. Is he gets fouls and he goes to the foul line, and he's just not. He's and when he does go to the foul line, he's he's missing freaking foul shots. Bro, what do you want me to do, man? I can only cheer so much for you, bro. I can only do so much. It's you got to prove it to us. You know, I, I, I'm, I'm giving you as much space as you need to be like, okay, well, we're just, it's the start of the season. This is us just getting warmed up. This is us just, you know, kind of getting in the flow of things. Bro, and next thing you know, it's going to be Thanksgiving. And the next thing you know, it's going to be Christmas and New Year's. And you're still going to be with this, like, we're getting in the flow shit? Nah, bro. Not this time around. Not this time around. <sighs> we'll be back here. Uh, I mean, well, yeah, because the, the Heat game will be after the Jet game on, on Sunday. Then they, they move the Jet game to 1 o'clock, thank God, and didn't fucking punish everybody with an 8 o'clock. Another 8 o'clock stupid Jet game. Um, So we'll be here. Uh, and we'll be here to see, you know, what happens with the Pacers because, um, you know, they got to win. They got to win that game, and it's not because, oh, we need to win and our record. No, no, I need to see them be consistent in some kind of way. If you're not going to be, like, beating the good teams, at least beat the middle-of-the-road teams handily, you know? I don't know. We should be winning these games, and that's just what's just frustrating. It's so frustrating, and I don't want to attribute it to, like, oh, well, it's the NBA, and everybody's good. And no, 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 no. It's obvious that, bro, we've got Bam. We've got Hero. We've got guys. That, our team defends. You know, we've got shooters on this team. I mean, this team should be a much better team. Like, Bam should be dominating. You know, you dominate the Pacers, bro. You, you better dominate the 76ers, and you better dominate the Bucks because they're both the same. We play good enough defense to, to, to beat the Mavericks. I mean... And there, and then, and then we have all these home games coming. My God, and then like we're not good at home. I don't know what it is at home, dude. I don't know why we suck at home, but we suck at home. So until that changes, I mean, what? Why should I sit and be like, oh yes, we gotta win against the Pacers? I, I'm not like that anymore, man. I've, I watch too many sports and too many different sports to, uh, to 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 have to do that for every sport. Oh, well, appreciate this one win that you had against this shitty-ass team. Like, I got to do that with the Jets. I got to do that with, with the Heat. I got to do that, you know. Well, I don't have to do that with the Panthers because the Panthers are kicking everyone's ass now. Thank God for that. I have to do that with, like, you know, the Marlins or something like that. Like, you just got to do that with sports all around, man. And it's like, that sucks, dude. I don't want to do that anymore. I want this team to come out and we should have a team that dominates. I'm, really good. I just, I'm not impressed by anybody. I'm not. This is, a, this is not a, a league where it's like, wow, there is like a... The only real gap there is is the is the Cleveland Celtics gap, and I don't understand how we have fallen off on that. How did we allow ourselves to fall off on that? We should not ever have fallen off. We should have always still been in the mix with that. And it's like we discovered this thing that, oh, we could turn it on at the end of the season and just get to the fucking end. Just And ever since then, man, we have just, we just don't care anymore. You know, and it's like you can't do that, bro, because these games that we lose now ultimately do affect us at the end. Every year that we've missed the fucking playoffs and had to do the stupid fucking playoff game, the play-in game, it's like one by one game. It's like we, if we would have beat Orlando at the beginning of the season, if we would have won against the stupid Pistons in the beginning, we would have, you know, that's that kind of shit. So that's why it's like, no, get the hell out of here with that, bro. 
got to bring it this year and they're not doing it right now and I'm like I'm going to I'm just trying to be real with myself and not allow myself to be like oh yeah this team's great they're going to change no 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 I'm not delusional bro I don't want to be fucking delusional with these motherfuckers no no they are what they they are what their record is they're they're not really a championship team right now um which is insane because they have a championship team they have a team that can go to the finals they have a good enough team but they're definitely they're just not playing like that right now. They're just not, and and to me, and that's that's the coach. That's Spo. Spo has just been off, man. Spo's been. I don't know, man, uh, and, and and I don't know if it's just that he's just repeating the same bullshit. And you you know when you hear the same shit for six fucking years, it it probably gets you know it's like don't fucking talk to me with the same bullshit Spo that you gave us last year. Like you know I know what we're fucking doing, and that's I I don't want that to be the case, man. You want these guys to still look at the Spo, look at Spo like they respect him, man. But when he pulls shit like that, like he did in fucking Detroit, like fuck that, they're gonna lose. I don't care what fucking Tyler Hero says, bro. In an interview, <sighs> he has got to pull some fucking magic, bro. Spo has got to do some shit to to give our confidence back in him, dude. He does, man. Because it's not just the fucking, it's not just the fucking timeout shit. It's 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 everything, bro. It's the lineup. It's it's fucking sticking with fucking Robinson. It's it's like sticking with Rozier. It's sticking, it's like brothers. There's plenty to point out, man. There's plenty. Um. So yeah. So we'll be back here Sunday. Uh, after the Pacer games, to either cry or cry again and cry some more. Um. I I just want this team to wake up because i feel like yo we you know it's right you see it, it's right there it's like we should not be we should not be like where we're at right now and it's the same shit that's the same shit we keep saying every year and then at that point it's like okay well stop saying that shit because you're just gonna you know torture yourself thinking it's gonna be different um i don't know I don't see this team making a move or anything like that. I, I see this team saying what I'm saying is that they look at them and they're like, "Do we have enough to we can make it? We can have enough on this team. It's just guys got to come through." Uh, but when guys don't come through, I mean, is that, isn't that isn't that not having enough? You know what I mean? I don't know. Don't freak out. Just freak out. Thank you.